A 32-year-old woman with no significant past medical history presented to our neurology clinic with complaints of visual disturbances and paresthesias that had begun following the birth of her child a few months earlier. Her physical exam revealed no abnormalities, and routine lab work was also normal. An MRI of the brain with contrast was performed and revealed a small 3 millimeter enhancing lesion in the posterior aspect of the left lobe of the cerebellum. Digital subtraction angiography was performed and revealed that there was no shunting component to this lesion. The patient elected to undergo follow-up imaging over an extended follow-up period, and two years later, a repeat MRI with contrast was performed. At this time point, the lesion had grown from 3 millimeters to 5 millimeters in size and become more avid in its enhancement. There had also grown a small area of edema surrounding the lesion. Two years following this, so now four years from the patient's initial presentation, another MRI was performed, and now the lesion demonstrated the characteristic findings of a cerebellar hemangioblastoma. A T2 hyperintense cyst had formed and pressed the previously enhancing lesion into its wall. So now it presented as an enhancing neural nodule. At this time, the patient elected to undergo resection of the lesion and the operation was carried out via a suboccipital craniotomy. The lesion was removed without complication and intraoperative findings were consistent with the cerebellar hemangioblastoma. The patient went on to make a full recovery. We believe this case presents a rare look at the morphological evolution of a cerebellar hemangioblastoma from an initial capillary neoplasm all the way through to a mature complex cyst structure.